Okay, lab putters, if you're here, it's probably because you've watched other videos and you're curious about lab putters. So this is really the case, it's the same marketing as Buckley's, like Buckley's is, it tastes awful and it works. This should be, it's ugly, but it works. So lab stands for lie angle balanced. And at first that was like a tongue teaser that didn't make sense to me, because how do you lie angle balance something? That's, it's not together, they're separate, so it's the correct lie, it's the correct balance. That's the weirdest one. And I missed A, angle. So they uh, set your proper angle and lie. So this is perfectly fitted for you. We'll talk about that in a minute. Let's talk about balance. So normally I hate center shafted putters. It just doesn't look good to me, personal preference. And that's the thing about getting fitted for putters is a lot of this is gonna be personal preference, but Personal preference aside, and how you like something to look, if you, can get over, if you can get over that, I think more people, you're gonna start seeing these in bags around. So Lab has a bunch of different versions. This actually isn't the version for me. This one is the DF1. DF2, Direct Force. Directed Force. It's the biggest one, it's the Frankenstein. They have a Mezzi now and a Mezzi Max, which is kind of like an open mallet. That's the one that Adam Scott's using on tour. And they have a blade version that I'm gonna wanna get my hands on and test. But the balance point is the craziest thing. So if you buy these putters as a fitter, it comes with a cradle and you swing the putter with the cradle, every other putter that's face balanced is gonna open and close. This putter stays perfectly plumb and true. Okay, so it's center shafted and it spins on a center axis. Like every point is the exact same weight. It, and you can kind of feel it when you're doing that. And all this is supposed to do is prevent that club face from over rotating open or closed with your putting stroke, plain and simple. Square face, square putting stroke. So the other thing that's tricky to get used to at address is Depending on which way you look at it, the shaft is either crooked or the grip is crooked. So you'll see that the shaft is mounted on the side of the grip, and that's supposed to promote that forward press. So if you have a putting stroke where you already have a little bit of that forward press, this is gonna look pretty attractive to you. And I'm a forward presser myself, and you know the whole idea behind a forward press is just supposed to take your wrist out of the equation so everything's locked in. So this promotes a forward press because of the angle of the grip, Now, if you're used to a forged putter, like a Scotty face, this is gonna be a little softer. So my normal putter, my gamer is an Odyssey Stroke Lab White Hot, double wide. It's been known to have one of the softest faces. I like that feel of a soft golf ball and a soft putter insert. This isn't gonna be as soft as that. This is gonna be somewhere in between like a forged blade and, uh, and a softer insert. It's like anything with a new putter or a new club, everything feels good. It's kind of the Cinderella effect. But you make, you, make, you make a lot of putts. So this is my friend Trevor's putter. As soon as he bought it, I said, bleh, gross, but let me review it. And uh, I opened it up from the head cover. I hated it. I put it down in address. I hated it. I hit one ball with it. I really liked it. And even the fitting process with lab putters is a little bit different. Now putting and putting stroke measurement is getting to a track man level type of like ball impact and with metrics and measurement. You can measure descent angle, loft, launch angle, face angle at impact. Basically all that's trying to do is equate to getting the ball rolling sooner. So if you've ever played with anyone like a tour level putter and their golf ball just hugs the ground and rolls perfectly, like Max Homa comes to mind, that's what getting fit for a putter will do. Now Lab is taking a different approach. You can get fitted virtually and all you have to do is send them a face on video of your putting stroke with your current putter and they're gonna tell you which of these specs is gonna work. Now these aren't crazy customized as far as like 
like you can go Bryson with your loft and change a bunch of things. It's gonna be your lie and your length. And that's just gonna help you make that perfect stroke with regards to how you should be fitted for a lab putter. So price, it's kind of irrelevant talking about the price of golf clubs because basically new drivers are $1,000. So if new drivers are $1,000, new putters are gonna be $600. So five to six hundred dollars US, depending on the level of customization, upwards of a grand if you add any stability shafts. Thousand dollars. Okay, I wanted to do one more comparison for how this this fits in a bag. Okay, so here's my current bag, thirteen clubs. There's the fourteenth club. Same bag. Same thirteen clubs. There's the 14th club. I don't know. Maybe it's not that bad, but I don't know. The other thing I really like about Lab on their website when they talk about their story and putting and putting in the game of golf, they do kind of acknowledge that there is a large population of golfers that hate putting. Mainly like on the beginner amateur side, people hate putting. So they talk about that and they say, we believe it's possible for all golfers to be excited about putting. Not only that, we also know it's absolutely necessary to safeguard the future of the game we love so much. Together we can create a brighter future on the course filled with more fun, lower scores, and more friends who make the time to hit the links. Putting doesn't have to suck and it won't once you untorque yourself. Ha! That is really cool. Uh, you know how I'm a sucker for like branding and uh, kind of the overall ideas behind a brand, Lab kills it with that. So uh, I don't know, they're okay in my books with that comment for sure. So that's it for Lab Golf. What do you think of the Direct Force 2? Are you gonna try any of these Lab putters? Maybe the Messier, maybe the Blade version? Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, more reviews coming. Appreciate the support, links in the description. Boom goes the dynamite.